I'm hoping it looked nice. Don't worry. I just slapped it down because I wanted to hurry up. <laughs> I was getting impatient with myself. All right, so the underlying energy is the star. I need that as the six of wands. Yeah, you guys want, you guys are dreaming. You guys have a dream. You guys want something. This is about your dream. This is about what you believe that you want, right? What you believe you can have, right? Because the six of wands underneath this talk about victory through the effort, through, through your efforts. This is talking about hard work and, you know, being seen, recognized, right? So victory through, you know, what you're doing. But then at the same time, the star is all about having faith and having hope. Pisces, do you believe you can have something? Do you believe that you can have what you want? I hope you do. Because all you need to do is take action. And so the reason why I'm saying this, saying this too is because of the current state of being, which is the four of pentacles. And you know how I feel about this? Y'all are stuck in a comfort zone right now that may not necessarily be manifesting or getting you anywhere. You can't manifest from this position. The four of pentacles it talks about kind of like, you know, yes, finding your stable ground, right? Knowing what you're worth and you know, at least knowing what you've been working so hard for. You've had that little small taste of, of abundance and it's great, but you, you're you not moving anywhere. You're not get, trying to get more of this. As a matter of fact, you're holding on to what you got and not letting go. You're like, you're white knuckling them, them, um, them pinnacles. And it's like, but don't you want more? Don't you want happiness? Don't you want more than this? Than this, this little tiny, like this small amount that you've got? I guess it took you a long time to work and get there. But there's so much more things, and I know you have dreams. It's clear that you have dreams. So this Four of Pentacles, it's like you're kind of holding on to a comfort zone. You're not really wanting to express or open up or talk about things. As a matter of fact, you're holding back, and it's because it's comfortable. Not necessarily that it's not, well, it's, it may actually be uncomfortable, but it, it's more of like, it's familiar. It's, it's real, you can touch it, and it's there, you know? But, it doesn't mean that it's actually comfortable. It doesn't mean that it's getting you where, where, where you want to be. And the moon is your desired outcome. Now, I could, it could this could be that you just want to be in your energy, right? Which, you know, which is fair enough, right? You kind of want to just be yourself. But then the moon does talk about, you know, aside from being the card that represents Pisces, even though the moon rules Cancer, it really talks about being in a situation where you're relying on your intuition, just going with the flow, going with what your heart is telling you, not really being bound or trapped or stuck under something or conform to anything. You're just allowing your heart to just lead you on, lead you, not lead you astray, but lead you to whatever you want, Re lead you to through anything. It does, it does require a lot of trust in your intuition here. And I feel like at the same time, I feel like you guys, you may want to just go with the flow instead of feeling like you have to kind of bottle everything up. But the thing that's keeping you from being able to just allow your emotions kind of lets you, let you flow through you is this burden that you've got going on here. You've got a burden here. And it may be because of some sort of, some sort of you know, project or situation, some sort of passion from the very beginning that's now become a burden. It's no longer fun. It was fun in the very beginning, showing that, but you've, you know, you've been through the process already you, and you've gotten through the cycle. You're back to that one of Ace of Pentacles, but you've got more Ace of Pentacles now, right? You've got a new boundary surrounding this passion of yours, right? Or what your passions are, or what, or you have some sort of, you have some sort of insight in regards to this passion, right? That's what I feel like tens are, right? They're like, it means something more. It means something more because you have this, you have more of it now. You have more passion to even, to understand, to, to embrace, to have. You know exactly where to pinpoint your passion is at. But more than anything, it's a burden now. It's not very fun. And I feel like this holding on to this burden is what's keeping you from being able to just allow yourself to just be free and go with the flow, like the moon is indicating here. Well, your best path to follow Pisces is the Queen of Cups. Allow yourself to just feel. Allow yourself to just be. You know what your cup is. But the King, the Queen of Cups also knows what she wants. I don't think you want, I don't know. The moon, maybe you guys just want to be free, right? You just want to let your emotions run through you. You just want to be in a very emotional state, right? You want to feel, you want to know what your intuition is trying to tell you. 
without any blockages. You want to have no block. You want to have a blockage free situation. It's fair enough. And I feel like this is too, right? You want to be able to just be in your emotions and feel. But you feel like you've got, you're burning with tasks and responsibilities that started out as something fun and now it's not fun anymore at all. So I feel like at the same time, as much as it is saying to just feel and allow yourself to be open, it's also figuring out what it is that you want so that way you can be open. What is your, like, obviously know what you want, focus on what you want, and then just, you know, just be. Release it. Release that. Right? Which means don't focus on it. Don't think about it so much. Just be. You know what I'm saying? Because the Queen of Cups, she is. She heals. She's very compassionate. She's very sweet, nurturing, loving. If you want to be in love, be in love. Right? If you have burdens here, heal those burdens. Release them. Because right now, it's keeping you from being able to manifest what you want. And I feel like these are burdens that you really don't want to do anymore. Now, justice is coming up in your feelings, which does indicate that there may be a balance here, or there's some things that you feel like are trying to gain balance. You could be feeling very much in in balance for some of you guys out there, which is excellent. You guys do feel balanced, but I don't think so because you have 10 of wands here. So I feel like you're trying to create, correct some karmic skills where you, I don't, I hope that you guys don't think that you guys are being punished for this. Like you're thinking that there's old karmic things that are coming up and this burden is a punishment. Don't think that. And I hope that's not the case. All right. And that's probably for very few of you, but that's kind of what I was feeling. But you know, that's, that's you know, very free of you. For some of you guys, I feel like you guys may feel like you need an apology or for some of you guys, you may need to apologize for some of you may feel that way. But you also want to like balance some scales. You want to balance those karmic scales. You want things to just level itself out. And your hopes and fears are showing. It's showing the four of pentacles, four of cups rather. And it's like, yeah, you don't really, you don't want to get to this point where you just don't feel like, you don't care. Like the four of cups, he doesn't care. Like he's like it's the same old, same old. Well, it's the same old, same old for him. And you, he doesn't know, he doesn't know what to do with the three cups he's got because it's like the same old crap. But he doesn't realize that there's new love coming in. That's him shutting out down his emotions. And I feel like the fear is that you don't want to be apathetic. You don't want to not want anything. You don't want to feel like you're trapped and stuck feeling a certain way because there's not really a lot of solutions. But the way to do that is to make peace with this burden, justice, Make peace with it and let it be. Focus on what you can do in the moment. Because the Eight of Pentacles does talk about hard work. It talks about getting things done, focusing. Okay? And for some of you guys, it may be that it's time to just focus on something else. Focus on what your heart's desire is. Focus on, on what you have concealed in this cup here. Because you are the Queen of Cups after all, right? So you want to see, you know, you know what's in your cup. You know what's in there. So perhaps it's time to focus on what it is that you truly want. Truly what makes you happy. And release the burdens that truly don't really connect with that. That are no longer a part of the, the passion or the cup that you want. The, the desire that you have. If it's no longer in that direction, perhaps it's just no longer, it has no place. Let's go ahead and take a look at your wisdom of the oracle cards for this week guys whoa truth be told straight up and it's talking about just being honest not just with people with everyone around you but with yourself what do you truly want if you sit if this isn't it you gotta just give the justice all right give that mallet a, a whacking you know what i mean the, the judge and jury be you know cold you know what i'm saying because if it ain't resonating with who you are there's no point of putting on a mask. There's no point of faking it till you make it, because it's not gonna get you anywhere. It's just gonna it's just gonna continue to give you this energy, which you truly do not want. You want to be more in the flow. You want to be in the direction in which you can actually manifest what you want. You want to trust your intuition. You want to be in sync, right? And how are you gonna do that if you're doing something you don't want to do? If you have burdens that you haven't released yet, so I'm gonna let them go. Whoa, 
I almost dropped all of the Wisdom of the Oracle or Whispers of uh, Love cards here. I always call Whispers of Love the Wisdom of the Oracle. Probably because of the whis the W portion of it. Whis of Whiz of like that's what I think that's what gets me. But anyway, whis what is any additional messages from the Whispers of Love for Pisces? Hmm. And it says, love who you are. You are a divine and wonderful person. You are a divine and wonderful person deserving of all the wonderful things that life has offered. See, and maybe uh, that member I was saying before, was like, maybe somebody feels that they deserve the burden that they've got. Like, that's what I was feeling. Like, no, you deserve to have wonderful things. You deserve to have happiness. You deserve to have whatever you want, Pisces. Don't think that something that's happening to you is something that you deserve. It's a, this is a karmic lesson for you to overcome, to, to put to rest. This is allowing you to, to, oh, this is allowing you guys to, um, to overcome old karmic stories. So the way you can be happy, so you can be open to love. And I feel like, again, you deserve it. That's what the card says. You deserve it. Love who you are. And that means you have to love yourself unconditionally, even if you are holding on to these burdens. Right? But it's up to you now. What do you want to do with it? Do you believe that you can have happiness? Can you heal yourself? Can you truly be happy? Yes. That's the answer. Yes, you can. How? By following your dreams being honest with yourself about how you feel about what you're doing right now and going after what truly makes you happy.